Hello, my name is Sue Bay, and I'm a Curtis alum and also a cello faculty at the Curtis Summerfest. And I want to thank you for joining the Curtis this year today, as I'm so thrilled to introduce the second piano quartet by one of the greatest composer who needs no introduction, Johannes Brahms. Composed in 1861, the Opus 26 in A major quartet is one of his longest composition, and it was premiered the following winter in Vienna with Brahms himself on the piano, and I could only imagine how magical this performance must have been. The work is in four movements with rich melodies woven in with these small duple triplet rhythmic motifs and these interchanging motifs develop and transform into this beautiful and rich melody that only Brahms can masterfully orchestrate. The piano introduces this majestic first theme followed by the strings and as the dialogue deepens this uh, theme constantly reappears throughout the movement wearing many different hats. The second movement is stunningly beautiful and it portrays this inner turbulence and longings. Then the third movement is a gentle scherzo followed by a joyous finale that has a tint of gypsy uh, idioms as Brahms often likes to incorporate in his brilliant compositions. This performance was recorded several years back during the faculty concert series for this, uh, the Curtis Summerfest, and I am absolutely honored to have collaborated with musicians that I uh, deeply admire and respect. Stephen Copes, a brilliant violinist and a thoughtful musician, and Amy Yang, exquisite pianist with such uh, poetic touch and one and only powerhouse violist Toby Apple who carries so much depth and knowledge. It was so much fun rehearsing and putting this gigantic work together in such short time we shared. So as we embark on this wonderful adventure, we hope you enjoy this exploration with us. <laughs> 